Back in January, I decided to do something that would forever change my life. Or maybe it didn't do exactly everything that was just so important that it changed my life forever or something, but it definitely was very large. PlayStation 3 Online is still going strong, and I decided to do something again today that would hopefully do something to my life that would make it more interesting. I decided to revisit this greatness. The very first time I decided to walk, okay, I said decided five times already, but the first time I went back to this, I did not really get to look over every single, I'm gonna do my best to keep my hands still. Looking through all of the PlayStation 3 games that you can maybe still play online, depends on how you do it, because sometimes you have to try to connect to a specific server. A lot of the games, or a lot of games, you can still play online. To this day, the servers are still working fine. You can just join publicly. You don't have to change any network settings around, but sometimes you have to do that. That's not a big deal. It's just a thing. The very first thing that I did, since I haven't done really anything PlayStation 3 online related in many months, I had to check out the PlayStation Store because for some strange, or it's not really strange, it's just weird and well, that's just a different way to say strange, but it is very weird that this is somehow still functioning. It might function not the best. It's just weird and slow is basically the best two words to describe this. You can still buy shit on this, I think. You just have to put funds on your account through another system. But after checking out the PlayStation Store and seeing everything involved in it, there's a lot of things that are very overpriced considering what you can get it in the physical disc form. For example, like Call of Duty games from the the past are maybe even pushing 50 bucks or more. Some games I failed miserably at, to be honest with you. I just decided to check it out. I didn't really do any research on anything to see if there were specific lobbies or communities you had to join to play these games. I just went into it blindfolded and oblivious. Stupid even. Some of these games, I think the servers still do work, but you have to find a specific time to play, and some of them just simply do not work at all. For example, I don't even think I was even able to do anything on specific specific games like Unreal Tournament 3 as a game that I was a large fan of back in the day because I don't know actually I, I do know why and then you have games like Battlefield 3 when I wasn't even really able to see if the damn game was working because it's starting to ask me about my EA account and shit and I'm just like stop asking me this I feel like EA and Ubisoft constantly harassing me if I want to sign up for an account or something is probably one of the worst things that I've ever seen MotorStorm Pacific Rift and the first MotorStorm that released on PlayStation 3 is actually actually still available to play. It's very nice and it's good that that's a thing, but I was not able to find anybody. In fact, I think I was the only son of a bitch still on the game. I haven't been this disappointed since the Even Stevens series finale. I didn't see one person on that game. Grand Theft Auto 4 is still alive and well. In fact, I was able to find a free mode game that is incredible and I love every second of it. I don't even care if there was an objective. Just going into a public free mode lobby and just fighting people off the minute you join is something that I'll never forget as I was growing up as a piece of shit. I'd rather play GTA 4 online than GTA 5 now. Red Dead Redemption is actually still alive and well. Red Dead 1 that is. Red Dead 2, well that's a different story. Red Dead 1 did not have a single person besides me it seemed like who was actually playing at the time that I was playing. There was a couple other people in the lobby and all I did was just look around and try to run at this person who was just standing there doing nothing. I was just trying to get this person to play the damn game as much as possible, but I, f I feel like this does work. It's just you have to play it at a good time. My experience playing this game was still fun no matter how many people were on. It's just nice that it's still working. You just have to think about that when things might not be going the best for you and you think that you can get into a lobby and there's really nobody there. Or there's one person in it or some shit. It's just nice it works. I guess. It's just completely random as hell, actually, if you think about it. Some of these damn games are still working, and I don't know if it's gonna last forever or something. It's like if you started using a pair of shoes as earrings, just going into some of these lobbies and seeing that actual human beings are playing this. Honestly, feels better than some of the newer games that are out for online purposes. Like, you tell me right now I'm gonna go play Call of Duty or some shit now?
Now, speaking of Call of Duty, since that's basically the one title you can count on to actually have people in it, there's probably so many people still on Call of Duty, it's kind of impressive, and World at War was probably the one that I found the game's easiest in. There's so many people, actually. Well, I don't know if this number is accurate, for one, that tells you on the screen, because it's not like some games where it might say an inaccurate number. It was telling me that there was like a hundred and something people on the game, so if that's an accurate assumption of how many people are on the game, that's not bad. The connection was absolutely putrid and dog shit at times where it just feels like you're actually back in 2009. It feels really realistic just going back and playing some of these Call of Duty games and having the worst connection you've ever seen. It feels like your damn router is connected to the local meatloaf shop or something. There's nothing happening in this game that's smooth. Everything is glitchy and it works like shit, but you know what? It's still the best experience you'll ever have. Everything that goes on in this game is just miraculous from this time period. This is weird that some Call of Duties doesn't, I don't think it saves your shit. It doesn't save your leveling up and shit. It just doesn't save it. I think World at War does. To my very large surprise that you can actually play some of these games if you just simply go on at a good time. And if you change your network settings around, I was able to find myself in a kill zone 2 lobby. And I'm going to be honest, I've never seen this much chaos in my life. There was so much happening. It was just loud noises and mayhem. It's just pure catastrophe from the very beginning. And I'm the worst at... I'm the worst ever. I'm the worst that's ever stepped foot in a kill zone 2 lobby and it's still the best thing ever. I can't even hit a person. I'd have to sneak up on somebody from behind and then do it that way. I'd have to... Or what? I'd have to legitimately go up to somebody when they weren't expecting anything happening and that's how I would get any kill that I could get. It'd be like just some random ass person not paying attention. That was the only way I could succeed. It's just mayhem. It's the crazy, it's just, you have to turn the damn volume down your head so you'll be bleeding from the ears. You'll be in the hospital room waiting for ear surgery by the time you're done playing this game if you don't turn the volume down. Another game that I didn't really expect to ever play again online is Resistance Fall of Man. This was very interesting because as I get older, or if it's just the fact that I haven't played these games in such a long time and people are still playing them so they're getting experience, I have never found myself more more miserable and just feeling pathetic than playing some of these first person shooters. Resistance Fall of Man had me feeling like I should go take up horse riding or something because I was not able to succeed in that game either. So after basically my ass was the Thanksgiving dinner that night, I decided to try and go on some racing games. Motor Storm I already tried so I already had some idea if this was going to work or not. In fact it told me how many people were on that game so I didn't even bother. Burnout Paradise was giving me such a nightmare I don't even think that shit worked anymore. The only racing game I was able to find actual human beings in, even after testing games like Midnight Club Los Angeles. For some reason, Blur is the only racing game that you can find people on. There's actually a couple people on always it's what that start that sense again it always seems like people are on that game no matter how many people are on the game you can find at least a couple people just shitting around playstation home on playstation 3 is probably something that every single person from that generation will remember for the rest of their damn lives and the fact that it's still accessible in the year 2024 and even beyond is something that you can only imagine that could be just, just something. Whenever you do something related to online, you have to run as fast as you can, not even drive. Just run as fast as you can to some Tom Clancy games that still are maybe playable. I say maybe because I have no idea. Rainbow Six Vegas was a damn ghost town. I think there was more people in a Dairy Queen bathroom than there was in a Rainbow Six lobby. In fact, there was only one person and that was this guy. There was no person on that game besides me. However, this might still work. It might still be accessible. It might still be something where if you actually got a crew of people or something on the damn game, you might be able to play it because I was able to get to the network status place. Or that was probably the most inaccurate way to say that. You were able to get to the actual multiplayer menu. I tried almost every single game that I have on my shelf. I tried Haze. I tried so many games that maybe were possibly able to work. It seems like as the years go on, there is communities that bring certain game servers back. This was something that I had to go back and see since it has been almost like eight months since I was going on PlayStation 3 online for the first time in 
a long ass time. PlayStation 3 Online is alive. It might not be as alive as it once was. It might just be slow and sometimes things might not work as good as they should, but the fact that this still does give you a chance to go back in time to a very specific moment in the Earth's existence when multiplayer gaming was at its peak. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, if you weren't running home from school and ignoring every ounce of responsibilities you had back in the day. I'm not really sure what the hell was even happening back then. You were getting screamed at by everybody in the house to do shit in the background. You had your headset on, for Christ's sakes. I thought my mother ran at me with a frying pan once. I thought for sure I was going to get my ass kicked one day, and nope, I'm just sitting there playing Call of Duty, ignoring everything. Everything and everybody is what I did. Or what? Hopefully nobody fast forwarded to this point in time in the video, otherwise that is illegal. What is the most fun thing to do in the year 2024? Well, it depends. Depends on who you are, depends on what you enjoy, but for me, it's going back and playing some of these games that have been the greatest that have maybe ever existed. I have done something again that I very much wanted to do, and that's go back and play some other PlayStation 3 online games so many years after. That if you counted how many years after it's been since some of these games have been in their prime, you'd probably have to start using your damn toes to start counting because it's been over a decade over 10 years since some of these games have been alive and well and they're even still alive and well in the year 2024 for how long i have no idea thank you for watching